Hey horror fans, thanks for joining me for this review of Knife Corp. Cast and crew information down below. And let's see what IMDb says about this plot here. Uh, high school senior Wally Banks is selling knives door to door. He gets trapped in a man's house with a dark secret and must escape before it's too late. Always have to escape before it is too late. But it is usually already too late when you get there. Alright. Anyway. Uh, this one. Uh, I believe I caught it on Amazon. But I believe it is also on Tubi TV. And, uh, so you can catch it on either place. Maybe some other places. I don't know. Uh, new one. And uh, so we'll try to keep this. Uh, spoiler free. And then, you know, huge spoilers, a little bit of a twist at the end. We'll keep that uh, quiet and for you guys to see. Uh, but this one obviously caught my attention because Kane Hodder stars in it. And uh, if Kane Hodder stars in it, I'm definitely interested in seeing it. I'm not definitely one of my favorite horror icons out there. Um, this is a, a different role for him. You know, this is not, you know, he's not behind a mask. Um, not a monster creature, not Jason, not uh, Victor Crowley type uh, character here. He's, you know, very much playing a normal guy here, or normal guy in uh, Kane Standard here. And, um, yeah, so, so, you know, that that is kind of, I guess, you know, the big reason why uh, I tuned into this one. And uh, let me, t you know, uh, let me tell you a little bit about um, what's going on here. Uh, besides for what the plot just gave away here, and um, yeah, there is a knife corp, and uh, they are selling knives, obviously, and a special selection of knives. And they've, I guess, recruited students or people who who need money um, to kind of go door to door. I guess you know, I, I don't. There's not much door-to-door -door anymore these days, I guess. But uh, anyway, to go the old-fashioned way, I guess you'd say it, and go door-to-door -door and uh, sell these knives. And I guess the pressure's on because I guess whoever sells the most knives uh, gets a little bit more rewarded. And obviously everybody there is, is looking to sell their knives for different reasons um, and so forth. To the beginning, you kind of get an introduction to some of the, other char some of the characters here. And... Um, you know, some of their interactions and so forth. Uh, mostly, you know, because they'll, they'll be to come. But the most important character, obviously, is Wally here. And, uh, you know, he's not going to be the best salesman. A little bit awkward. Uh, he's really going to try hard. But uh, it's definitely not going to be the best salesman here. And he obviously, um, I don't want to call him. I guess, you know. Uh, I don't know what the nice way to say it. I guess, you know, if you want to say the, the popular people within Knife Corp, I guess he's not one of the popular ones. So I guess, you know, when they kind of split up in groups, he kind of got the, uh, not the good block to go down and sell. So um, with that, he ends up knocking, of course, on Kane's door. And uh, Kane is not home at the moment, but soon will be. And is not too happy uh, that uh, Wally is knocking at his door. And Kane's character is actually Angus. So uh, Angus Angus Finn. So Angus Finn is uh, not very pleased that uh, Wally has come uh, to knock at his door. So uh, he wants to sell him the knives, obviously, but uh, Angus is having none of it. But Angus is as in the process is trying to fix something on the door so Wally of course takes this opportunity to take on one of the knives and uh, kind of help him fix whatever he's fixing there on the, on the door so that kind of is very persistent and and uh, keeps going at Angus and says you know talking about the knives and you know so finally Angus kind of gives in and says okay I'll give you a couple of minutes to come in, but I mean, he makes it very clear to him he is not buying anything. But um, lets him in, and uh, they go inside, go in the kitchen, and so forth. And uh, you know, 
Angus has, has given him a certain time to kind of give his pitch. So he says, you know, basically, you know, better get to it. Uh, Wally starts going through it and cuts his hand. And uh, this begins uh, kind of delaying the process a little bit. And, uh, you know, he does a little bit of snooping around here and there. Here's a noise, I believe. Um, finds out that there is a, a young uh, woman in the house as well. Um, but that that's a little strange there. It doesn't seem uh, to fit, you know, Angus and, and what's happening there. And he figures there's something a little bit odd there. But, uh, anyway, you know, he continues to have this interaction with Angus. And long story short, obviously leaves and uh, Angus is not buying any any uh, any knives from him. And he leaves kind of quickly because, you know, Angus this is obviously being played by Kane, so he's very intimidating and so forth and isn't having into any of it. So eventually he leaves in a hurry, goes back, meets up with some of his friends, and they kind of discuss, you know, how the selling has been and so forth until he realizes he has left his knives in Angus's house and uh, those knives are expensive so if he doesn't return them yeah he's gonna have to pay for them so he has no other choice but to go back to the house but as opposed to you know just knocking on the door and getting the knives because he's kind of worn out his welcome there with Angus um, he decides to kind of kind of break in not only because of the knives because also a little bit of curiosity he's he's quite sure there's something else going on there so uh him and his friends go back to the house and uh kind of snoop around do some investigating and let's just say um things will will take a turn for the worse i guess let's just say angus is not gonna be happy him or his friends are there and uh bad things are going to proceed to happen um so that's a little bit of the, the basics there, the, the kind of setup and, and going into it. But um, I think, you know, besides, you know, telling you guys about this just because Kane's in it, um, you know, uh, his interaction with Wally, Wally is played by Austin Coleman. Um, you know, they're, they're very two different characters, two different people. And... Uh, their interaction together is just great. I think that that um, the way you know Wally just Wally being Wally is just you know naturally getting under the skin of of Angus here. And uh, if you've met Kane, I think you can very much see how um, you know when I watch this, I unfortunately got to meet him a couple of times, and uh, you know you can very much see you know. As mean as he looks and whatever, you know, he is a very cool guy and whatever, but you can see this, this, you know, kind of character getting under his skin very easily. I know he's playing the role of Angus, but even if he is an Angus, you, you can almost just see, you know, him getting under the skin of just Kane in general. Um, so, you know, I think it's it's very natural, uh, it just seems like a very natural position for Kane to be in. Um, obviously, this is different, you know, he's been in other things where he's speaking. Uh, has had speaking roles, but I, I think you know most of us you know have either seen him, you know, with the Jason mask or as Victor Crowley, you know, not speaking. So you know I think if you haven't seen uh, much of him in speaking roles, I think this is a good one to, to catch um, because his interaction with uh, Wally here, um, or I should say, you know, Austin, the, the actor here, is fantastic. Uh, they just play off each other so well, and, uh, you know, Austin is just, just pissing off Kane left and right, just, just because of who he is, and his persistence, and, and trying to sell these knives, and, you know, he's not the best salesman, and so forth, um, it, you know, it's, it's really fun to watch, you know, I know this is horror, and, you know, I'm about the blood and guts, but, um, I don't know, there was just something about seeing, you know, Kane kind of being pissed off. Uh, by this other character it was fun and uh, you know it, it just be, it becomes a little bit wilder obviously you know at the beginning they're kind of in a you know just a regular setting there in the kitchen and kind of just going back and forth 
but then later, you know, that you know, it kind of picks up more when, you know, we kind of find out a little bit more about Kane's character and what's going on in this house, and um, things. I guess you know, I guess I'll say you know, turn a little bit more violent. I'll say um, there are some deaths. People are gonna die. It does get a little wild and crazy. Um, so there, there is that. Um, so if you are looking for the blood and guts and you're not, you're not so much interested in, you know, Kane having a good time here with this, this kid, um, there is some, some of that. Uh, you're going to have to, you know, wait to the back half of the movie for that. Uh, this is just a lot of, you know, setup going on early on. Uh, like I said, there, there is a twist. There is something else going on here. And uh, I'm not going to say much about that because I don't want to spoil it for you. Uh, I'm not going to say I totally saw it coming. It's maybe not fully explained here, um, but you know I, I think it's one of those cases where you just kind of let it be, and you know, okay, it is what it is. Um, you know, I, I think you know the fun part of the movie is is the definitely these two characters interacting with each other. You know, whether here at the selling point here early on, or even when the action kind of picks up later on, and when they're kind of more on head on head uh, in a little more physical way, even though. You know, it's a complete mismatch. Um, I still think there, there's some funness to that. And, um, yeah. Uh, there are some other interesting characters here. There, there's there's one guy who, you know, is very... Uh, um, uh, like Buddy Chang. Uh, he, he's an interesting character. He's very disciplined. Um, he's supposed to be, you know, a good salesperson, whatever. But, um, you know, he doesn't want to leave any friends behind. So... You know, when he's one of the ones that go to this house and kind of help them out, and uh, yeah, it's not not gonna end well for him and uh, a couple of the other friends that help out. But like I said, there there's a twist, and like I said, I, you might not totally see it coming. Obviously, you know that, like I continuously say, there is something else going on here, and that plays a little bit of a role in it. So it's gonna lead to a surprise or two. Um, you know. Is it a big deal? Not really. You know, I, I'm going to say, you know, I would have been fine with it just being, you know, you know, I guess it just kind of adds a little something on top. You know, I, you know I'm just kind of fine with it being, you know, a reason for these people to come to this house and just basically get killed. Um, but, you know, they have to add a twist there. So, you know, it's fine. It's fine. Um... So with that, I guess there's not much else to say here. Uh, you know, it's shot well, the acting is fine. There's some, like I said, there's a different kind of mix of characters and some of the other characters. Um, you know, they're fine. You know, they each kind of adds their, their little thing. Some are a little bit more funnier than others. Um, but I think, you know, I think the biggest thing here you enjoy is just Kane's interaction with Austin or, or Angus versus Wally here. Um, I, I think that's definitely what shines, what stands out here, and uh, what you'll have fun with. So I, I think, you know, certainly if you're a fan of Kane, you're definitely going to watch this. Um, especially if you want to see him in a, in a regular speaking role, um, which, we, you know, we don't get to see as much. Although there are a few other movies that he's done recently where he's had uh, more of a chance to, to kind of talk. I mean, usually always plays the bad guy. Um... And it's obviously because he's, he's fantastic at it. Um, but there are some other things he's done done recently that, that he is able to, to at least um, have some lines in. So that, that's good. Um, it's good to see. But th this one he has a lot more a lot more than some of the others that are coming to mind. Um, so anyway, again with the rambling, there, the thing, I think you guys got it. Um, with that, I'm going to give this one... Um, Three Fools of Blood. I, you know, I, I just really, mostly, just because of that, that those two characters and their back and forth. Um, like I said, you know, the yeah, everything else that goes on is you know pretty self, you know, explanatory and, and what you'd expect, um, except for the twist. You know, the twist is there and, and whatever. Um, but I'm gonna give it Three Fools of Blood, and you know that might also include a little bit of my bias and. and and uh, me just being uh, a fan of Kane's and uh, glad to see uh, another good movie with him in it. Um, 
Well, unfortunately, you know, I, I'm not going to name it, but I've seen one or two uh, other movies with him in it. And as much as I liked him, I just didn't like the movie. As much as I wanted to review the movie, I just couldn't because um, I just didn't like it. So, you know, um, you know, I, I'll admit, you know, that there are there is one or two out there that that he's done that I've not liked, and and I'm, I'm you know, that's outside of the, the Jasons and the, and the Crowleys and, and so forth, the Hatches, I should say, um, outside of that. Um, but anyway, Three Pools of Blood, again, that, that's out of five, and I guess that, that's enough for this one. Uh, Horror Gory Reviews, .blogspot.com, the link is down below. If you're looking for more reviews, uh, written ones are there for sure. Uh, I put the video ones there as well, but if you're just looking for video reviews, uh, the easiest way to get them subscribe to the channel and uh, like dislike the video whatever you want and you don't have to uh, totally up to you and uh, Twitter Facebook information down below as well uh, reach out to me we can talk about horror we can talk about this movie other movies uh, something you want me to review uh, reach out to me there and uh, we can see if we can get that done if possible uh, comment section as well comment on this video comment on the movie if you've seen it uh, I'm always interested in your guys thoughts too I mean you know, this is um, can be a complete back and forth I, I always want to hear what you guys think of the movies as well so feel free to there or, or Twitter you're more comfortable or Facebook whatever uh, let me know let me know what you, what you thought um, or if you have anything else you want something to review or whatever uh, you can feel free to do it in the comment section there as well. So, uh, I don't buy knives. Don't go door to door. Don't let people that are going door to door in your house either. Not a good idea. Not a good idea for either side. Uh, so, with that, I will catch you on the next review, horror fans.